I'm Joe, you're you, and this is Fiduciary Friday. Share this video and you'll have your chance to win one of these $25 gift cards. If you want to get a hold of me, click that link in the description and let's make it happening. Today I want to talk about part six of the offer, rental items. So I'll start off by reading exactly what that reads in the offer. Rental items, including lease, lease to own, the following equipment is rented and not, not included in the purchase price. The buyer agrees to assume the rental contracts if assumable. Now this is where in the offer where we input what the rental items are. Most commonly when purchasing a home, the most common rental is the hot water tank. Now what else do we see as rental items in a home? I've seen furnaces and air conditioners where they're rented or leased to own under a lease to own agreement. Uh, these, might, these might also include a service contract where the company that is providing the furnace and air conditioner also has a contract with the owner to service, come in once a year or so to service and maintain the equipment. This is not a rental agreement, but it's a service contract attached to this equipment, which is important to know. Also, from time to time, houses will have alarm systems. These alarm systems, not quite rentals, but again, service contracts attached to the home. This is a good thing to outline in this part of the offer. It's important to also know about service agreements. You might see you know, a service agreement for your furnace and air conditioner, and you might also see a service agreement attached to your alarm system. These are important to know when purchasing a home. What are the four main questions to ask yourself when it comes to rental items in part six of the offer is, number one, what is rented? Number two, what is the monthly payment? This is important because we need to take this into consideration when figuring out your budget moving forward. Number three, what is the term of the agreement? We wanna know how long these items are being rented for. And last, we want to know what the buyout is for the rental item. The price of the buyout tends to go down as the agreement moves forward, making more payments, bringing the price or the buyout amount down of the rental item. This is important to know because if you want to buy out the rental item, you're able to buy it out and you want to know how much it's going to cost you. We want to know rental items when buying a home so we can budget in and factor in how much these things are going to cost you moving forward. And when we're selling your home, it's important for us to disclose these things to the buyers so that they know this and also because we don't want to be responsible to continue making payments after selling the house. We want the buyers to know exactly what it is that they're buying. Thanks for tuning in. Share this video for your chance to win a $25 gift card. We'll see you next time.